What's up with everybody? It's your boy Mookie Jones for Radar Sports Base, man. Before we get into this episode, I want all y'all to come over there and subscribe to us on our playback account. We be there watching the games live and free. Uh, we've been watching all the playoff games, so if you want to uh, hear our entertaining commentary of the game as well, go ahead and subscribe to our playback account as well. Um, the link is below. Um, I want to talk about Bronny James, ladies and gentlemen, right? Bronny James, his father is LeBron James, one of the greatest players of all time, right? Um, LeBron James have literally um, ruined this man, Bronny James' career. And the reason why he's ruined his, his man's career is because before Bronny James declared for the draft, ladies and gentlemen, right? LeBron James was on Twitter, right? Sitting there saying that Bronny James is good enough to be in the NBA on how Bronny James passed better than everyone in the NBA and how Bronny James is... You know, he's a he's a starting caliber player on a championship roster and that Bronny James can go into Los Angeles Lakers right now and 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 be a starting point guard on the team. It just basically just um, propping this man, propping his son up. Right. Rightfully so. Um, that's his son. But the delusional bro for LeBron James and, and disrespecting the players in the league that have been playing at a pro level for a long, long time. Um, it's something that I just didn't get, bro. And that is the reason why the criticism and the hatred is thrown to the sun way because you did that, Mr. LeBron James, right? You ruined this man, Bronny James. You put the pressure on him, something that he just not good yet as a player. Then when we look at, you know, Bronny James and what he is doing in, in the college level, right? Um, we know that he's not living up to the standard that his father has said that he is, right? Um, and he's what average what five points per game. He shoots sub thirty percent from the field, twenty percent from the three point line. His self creation is trash. His handle was weak. Can't play through the gaps. Uh, he's stiff. Uh, he's not the most athletic guy. Um, he's what six one. I mean, undersized. I can't shoot. I mean, bro, the man is not good. He don't deserve to be in the NBA, right? And at the end of the day. When you got LeBron James sitting there and saying that he could be in the NBA and he could be a starting caliber player on the championship roster, and then we hold LeBron James to this to those standards and hold him to sit there and say, because this is what you said, LeBron James, all on Twitter, right? And when he's not performing to that, he want to sit there and go off on, on hecklers and, cr and criticism talking about he's just a kid. Well, was he just a kid when you sat there and said that he's good enough to play in the NBA? Was he just a kid when you sat there and said that LeBron Bronny James coming out of high school can pass almost better than half these players in the league? Was he just a kid when you sat there and said he could be a, uh, a start caliber player on the championship roster? So this is why LeBron James is a hypocrite, bro, right? I honestly do not think that Bronny James, ladies and gentlemen, wants to be in the NBA. I think that he's living his father's dream. His father, LeBron James, wants him to be in the NBA, ladies and gentlemen, right? And that's the reason why they get declared for draft. LeBron James' ego and trying to do something that no other player has done is play with their son in the NBA. That's what Bron that's what LeBron James is trying to do, right? Uh he has ego issues. Uh this man is traumatized. And, you know, I give Bronny all the credit in the world, man. He's came back for something significant. Um, you know, his health issues is nothing to be played with, man. Um, but y'all got to understand, before Bronny, you know, uh, uh, you know, was playing basketball or right around when he was playing basketball, y'all got to understand, Bronny had a multi-million dollar deal to play games, right? Um, so he doesn't even need to play basketball. Bronny doesn't even need to play basketball, ladies and gentlemen, right? He has a multi-million dollar deal to play games, right? Uh, video games, right? So, I feel like that LeBron James is forcing this man, Bronny James, to, to play basketball, to live his own, you know, dream, right? Um, at the end of the day, chat, this man, Bronny James, do not deserve to be a, a first-round draft pick. He does not deserve to be selected in the NBA. He's a G League player. He deserved to be on a two-way contract, right? And at the end of the day, he is taking money. He is taking opportunities away for other players as well. This man barely got any minutes at college. His self creation is trash. It sucks, right? And it is what it is, man. So why are we making this video today, right? Bonnie James came out on an interview, man, and he basically just almost broke down into tears, right? 
uh, explaining how his father put so much pressure on him, and and it's and it is very very you know tough for him, but he has to fight through it and um, go with the flow, man. Because this was, wasn't his dream; this was his father's dream. I want y'all to take a listen to this interview. What, what was the decision making process like for you to turn pro? Because it seems like it, it has just recently come down where you decided to stay in the draft. Here you are here at the combine in Chicago. What was that whole process like? And maybe take us through your decision making. Um, you know, I always want to end up where I'm happy the most. Mm -hmm. um, Mom has always told me, you know, take me where my heart wants me to be. And, you know, I just I just found found happiness in what I'm doing right now. And I feel like that's where I want myself to be at. You know, what is it like to, to play the game of basketball when your father is, is one of the, the all-time greats of the sport? It's tough. Uh, a lot of criticism gets thrown my way. Um, but, you know, I got to deal with it. Um, they don't know what I've been through. Um, but, yeah, I just I just try to make the best of my opportunities that's given to me. As a kid, did you know that basketball was where you wanted to take this, or were you interested in other sports? No. Uh, I, was yeah. it always about hoops? Yeah, no. I, I mean, I played other sports. I played soccer. Um, wasn't allowed to play football. My mom didn't allow that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I always just been a sports guy, but basketball was just my my – my cup of tea. This right here is just sad, man. Bronny James knows that he doesn't deserve to be in the NBA. Do y'all know that somebody is about to use a first round draft pick, maybe a lottery pick, to pick up Bronny James? A guy that is complete garbage and is not good at basketball whatsoever. They're about to use a first-round draft pick to pick up Bronny James just to have the opportunity to get LeBron James on the team because LeBron James has made it clear that he wants to play with his son. That is his long-term uh, goal. That's what he wants to do as well before he retire in the NBA. Obviously, have an opportunity to win championships. But the fact that somebody's about to use a first-round draft pick to a guy that wasn't even a, a top 50 recruit, a guy that wasn't even good in college to get to potentially get LeBron James. It's just sad to me, bro. It is sad to me, chat. This man, Bronny James, is not good at basketball. He trash. Yes, he can get better, but he is, when we looking at as a scout and as a prospect, bro, he's just not good at all. Right? And the fact that LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen, put this pressure on him, right? Because not only your, your father is LeBron James, but Bronny, you have to come into the NBA and live up to what your father has propped you up for you to be when you're absolutely just not that at all, bro. So now when you fail, it's also going to hurt LeBron James as well. Because he sat there and said that you're good enough to be a starting caliber player in this league. LeBron James is one of the worst fathers for that, bro, ladies and gentlemen. He's a terrible father for that, bro. Because I know if my son sucks and I know my son not good, I'm not going to sit there and say that he's good enough to go in the league and can freaking stop the best uh, uh, player in the NBA. I'll be delusional. I'll be delusional, ladies and gentlemen, right? This right here is just absolutely just sad, bro. This is sad. And the fact that he is grabbing the Los Angeles Lakers organization and franchise by the balls, right? And forcing them to use their first round draft pick on picking that bump is crazy. It is crazy. Oh my goodness, chat. So when you dive deep in the water and when you break it all the way down, LeBron James destroyed his old son love for the game and love for the passion of the basketball because he wants him to do that. I think it was Bronny's decision to declare for the draft so early when you barely got any minutes in college. No, it's LeBron James. And this is why I cannot respect a guy like LeBron James. Ego issue. He's traumatized that little boy. The little boy don't want to play basketball, bro. He's been through a lot. 
He didn't work hard to get anything. He's been spoon fed and he's taken other opportunities for other players. The fact that we're getting more coverage for Bronny James than the actual number one draft pick in the NBA draft is just crazy to me. The only reason why he's in the NBA because it's his father. Real talk. Y'all talking about Mookie. What is LeBron James? What is Bronny James' ceiling? Bro, his ceiling is freaking. Uh, what's that guy from the uh, Detroit Pistons, bro? Killing Hayes. That's his silly. Because he sucks. Let me know, chat. Um, it's your boy, Mookie Jones. I'll holler at y'all in the next episode. Peace, gang.